Hey Z Star, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, I mean, if you've seen this channel before, thank you so much for coming back. If you've been here before but you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, make sure you do. But anyway, you guys, today I want to tell you all the story about my trifling relative that relaxed my hair. That was actually my last relaxer and I'm glad that she was so petty because if not, I wouldn't have this beautiful head of hair that you see before you. So basically my hair is just in a side fro, whatever, no big deal. I don't want to bore you guys with those mundane details. Let's just get right into the video. But before we do, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you like this video let me know what you want to see from me be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones and last but certainly not least <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video thank you guys so much and let's get right into it guys I just want to share with you uh, the time that one of my relatives very trifling petty human being that I don't like <laughs> relaxed my hair it was my last relaxer and now I'm here today with a head full of natural hair the Bible says that he causes all things to work for the good of those that love him and I could agree with that y'all because if I had not had that super botched relaxer I probably would not be natural right now, or maybe I would be, but I wouldn't be this passionate about it. Who knows? Okay, guys, so let's take a few steps back, a leap back about a decade ago to around 2007, 2008. That's when my relaxed hair was thriving. Uh, my mom was the one relaxing my hair, and my hair had gotten to about bra strap or mid back length. It was like really long, and people, including my non black friends, were like, Oh my gosh, girl, your hair is like so popping. It's like so long. Like people would compliment it all the time. And I was like, thank you so much guys. My mom takes care of my hair. Now back then I was actually using things like Do Grow. I was using Dr. Miracle. I really don't see anything wrong with using grease so long as you're using shampoo. I don't know, I loved it. It sealed in the moisture really well. It kept my hair super soft and super shiny. So your girl was using grease, your girl was relaxing her hair and her hair was flipping popping. That's just a little bit of a backstory. Any hoozie, fast forward to about 2008. It was either during or after my freshman year in high school. What had happened was <laughs> my mom was unavailable to do my relaxer and my relatives were visiting from out of town. I'm not going to say exactly where because those of you that know me in real life can probably figure out who this person is if I give enough detail. And I'm not going to do that because I'm not trying to cast anybody. So anywho, my relatives were visiting from out of town. My mom didn't have enough time to relax my hair. So my mom was like, Oh, hey, Victoria, could you please relax our hair for me? I was like, Mom, I really don't think this is a good idea. You know, nobody relaxes my hair. It's only you. My mom, being a bit naive, no shade mom, was like, No, Zara, it will be totally fine. Victoria's going to take great care of you. She's going to do a great job it's gonna be fine so i don't know what's up with my auntie victoria but she's like trifling i don't like her she's my least favorite relative whatever shade i don't know if she was hating on me or hating on my hair whatever but the experience was terrible i'm gonna tell you guys how that went pretty much from start to finish i remember this like it was yesterday my goodness i sat down in front of my toilet because i mean we were doing it in the bathroom so we could have access to water very readily she was on the toilet and she began to part my hair she put vaseline around my edges put vaseline on my scalp but not really much not nearly enough so i was like yo auntie vicky like you finna put more or not like i feel like i'm about to burn she's like no it's fine i know what i'm doing blah 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 Speak. fast forward she mixed the relaxer she used i can't remember exactly the one that she used it was the olive oil relaxer because that's the one that we always used to use so she mixed it whatever whatever and began to apply it to my hair now mind you this woman proceeded to put the relaxer on my roots okay fine i thought that was enough food. then she started to put it all over my hair then i was like girl like i don't think you need to put it all over my hair that part of my hair is relaxed she's like well your hair is really nappy and thick we need to put it everywhere i was like damn look at this actual 
I just said, okay, you know what? Let me just keep quiet. My mommy has faith in this woman. Let's see how she's going to try and do my hair. I kept quiet and you know, I was not brought up to be a disrespectful child. So I didn't curse her or do anything. I just sat there. She finished applying the relaxer to my hair. And after about 10 minutes, I was like, yo, Auntie Vicky, it's starting to burn. I think we finna wash this out. She was like, no, you need to leave it in longer. You know, your hair is really hard and like gross. So you need to leave it in for about 15 more minutes. I was like, what? <laughs> By that time, I was like, yo, I need to go and find my mother. This lady's finna like remove my scalp from my head. Damn. <laughs> So I went to go meet my mom. I was like, yo, mom, like this thing has been in my hair for a while. I need to wash it out. My mom saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, your scalp is actually starting to get a bit red. And I was like, I know it's painful and itchy. We need to wash this out now. I ran to the bathroom. My mom was like, yo, Victoria, this is not acceptable. She needs to wash this out right now. My auntie Vicky started carrying face saying, oh, well, you know, her hair is like this, like that. I need to be here longer. My mom's like, no, she's washing this out right now. So my mom quickly, quickly, quickly got me to the shower, knelt me down and started rinsing it out of my hair. She quickly applied neutralizing shampoo, probably shampooed my hair three times. That's how much relaxer this woman had used. That's number one. And number two, she was very concerned about the state of my scalp and my hair. So we need to digress for a moment so I can give you guys a bit of a backstory. So my auntie Vicky has a few kids. She would always be comparing her daughter's hair to my hair. As she was comparing her daughter's hair to my hair, she would be saying all sorts of things like, oh, don't worry, baby, your hair's really nice. Gosh, uh, why is your hair so full? This, this, that, da, 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 da. Even making comments like, oh, yeah, my daughter's hair is thick too. Meanwhile, if you look at her daughter's hair, it was pretty scanty. It was just like a little bit long, girl and guy. My hair was mad thick and it was really long and healthy. Anyway, that's a bit of a sidebar so you understand where she's coming from when she's being a vindictive cow. Anywho, back to the story. After rinsing out the neutralizing shampoo and the relaxer, my mom quickly, quickly conditioned my hair. And then we did the normal thing we do, which is to put in some sort of like a leave-in lotion, usually motions lotion. <laughs> bars and then after that she puts on some grease on my scalp and on my hair and like i said because i was actually shampooing my hair regularly the motions and the grease didn't really have a negative effect they just sealed in the moisture really really well my mom then proceeded to blow dry my hair now as she was blow drying she was getting really concerned she was like your hair doesn't feel the same this doesn't feel right this is not what i know your hair to be and i was getting Flippin' nervous. Now, by that time, part of my hair had like really broken off. The ends had just cleared off and my hair was looking really thin. Following the blow dry, I looked at it. I was like, Lord have mercy. This is not the hair I used to know. I was flipping in tears. They were definitely tears of sadness, but they were also tears of immense fury because I knew that that was just trying to ruin my hair for me so that she could feel better about herself and her own children. The thing that gave me the most satisfaction, aside from the fact that I decided to embark on this natural journey, was that my mom took her time to really chew my Auntie Victoria all the way out. Like she read her for filth. She flippin' read her entire destiny for her. That made me feel so good because y'all, I was livid. I was so pissed. I was like, how could this woman do this to me? All of this work, love, and care. But it also just goes to show that if you're doing something for someone and you don't have love in your heart or patience for that person, the outcome can never, ever, ever be positive. That was a big lesson to learn, but it's fine because look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Hey. Anyway guys, digression aside. And within the following days, I decided like, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do my hair. Like what's gonna happen to it? So I started looking up things on the internet. I also got a keratin treatment at a Dominican salon, which is another story for another day. It was horrible. If you guys want to hear that story, let me know in the comments below, but it was terrifying. It was, it was bad. Anyway, I tried to get a keratin treatment, which only made the state of my hair worse <laughs> and then following that i was like you know what whatever let me keep researching and figuring out what it is that i can do i stumbled upon some hair grooves on youtube at that time i was probably using youtube only to watch those types of videos where it's like look at my shoes look at my shoes 
I like shoes. You guys know that song, right? Let me know if you know it. Like that was my ish with my friends and I. So we would watch those kinds of troll videos, but I discovered that I could also watch tutorials. So I started watching a lot of relaxed hair tutorials. One fateful evening, I remember this day like it was yesterday. I was at my dad's house and I stumbled upon this one lady with natural hair. If I can remember her name, I'll link it below, but I think she was living in California. She was a yogi. She had natural natural hair. Now guys, look, I'm not trying to stereotype. These are just the details I remember about her and it might help me remember exactly who she was. Very beautiful woman with dark glowing skin. I remember like it was yesterday. I poured myself over her videos. I was like, what is this? She talked about her own relaxed hair journey and then her transition to natural and then her natural journey. And she made a statement. She was like, why do I even relax my hair? I didn't know. I couldn't tell you. It was just something that I had done since I was little. And I was like, wait, I'm here trying to figure out how to solve my relaxed hair struggles. Meanwhile, I don't even know why I relax my hair. I don't need relaxer. I don't care for it. I don't dislike natural hair. So I was like, wait a second. I think I need to go natural. Why do I even relax? What's the point? It's just something I've always done. And it's a lot of stress. And I'm sure my hair will be healthier if I allow it to be in its actual texture. So fast forward. I was like, look, ma, like girl, I think it's time for me to embark on a natural journey. And I preached to her because look, I like to be getting on little soapbox and preaching to my family about the decisions I make about my body. Recently, I've been taking cold showers and I've been preaching to everyone around me. If you guys want a video about me and my cold showers, let me know. But anyway, I preached to my mom. My mom was actually extremely supportive from the beginning. She's one of those parents like, guys, I literally studied music and my mom is a Nigerian parent. Now, of course, she really grew up in Italy, the UK, and then lived in America for the large majority of her life. But still, my mom is really liberal, so she actually supported me. As I started reading more, watching more tutorials, I stumbled upon Curly Nikki, guys. I actually, wow, um, I'm gonna get a little emotional because that's where I started learning everything about natural hair. I would stay up for hours in the middle of the night reading her blog. And it's so funny because pretty much a decade later, I'm being featured on Curly Nikki all the time for my own videos and content. Life really does come at you fast and it really does come full circle. So thank you, Curly Nikki. God bless you and your team. You guys actually helped me discover natural hair really and truly. That's so special, you guys. And I definitely had to share that. I learned about protective styling and kinky twist. That was like the transitioning style back in the day. So that's what I started to do. I literally transitioned with kinky twists and my auntie, my trifling auntie Victoria being the that she was and still is. She said, Are you sure you want to go natural? Won't your hair be too difficult to manage? Uh, uh, and of course I said, No, I think it's fine. And after all, my hair's ruined now because of my last relaxer. Now being the respectful child I was, I threw that very subtle shade, but she caught it. She definitely caught it and she was feeling ashamed. So I'm totally fine with that. A few months later, my hair started to flourish. I chopped off my relaxed hair and my natural hair just grew and grew and was so thick. Actually, my journey caused everyone in my family and all of my friends to go natural. So really my story of my last relaxer, as traumatizing as it was, as much as I want to throw my Auntie Victoria out the second floor of my house, <laughs> I was really pleased with that happening because at the end of the day, if it didn't, I wouldn't be epic Zara. I'd probably only be composing and playing my violin. So as much as this last relaxer story be pissing me off every time I remember it, I'm so, so grateful <laughs> to God above for allowing something useless like that to happen because if it didn't, I wouldn't be making these videos I love so much for you guys. So anyway, you guys, enough of all that mushy, mushy, gushy, emotional stuff. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and come back for more. If you guys want more story times, let me know. I got plenty of juicy tea and I'll actually be having some people on the channel to talk to you guys about some really interesting things. Anyway, now that we've come to the end of the video, I'd like to remind you guys to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know your relaxer horror story, please. I want to know, let's sympathize with one another. <laughs> please also share this video with your friends and your loved ones and anyone who you're trying to convince to become natural. But yo, look, 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 just a disclaimer. I am all for relaxed hair. I'm all for natural hair. I'm all for texturized hair. 
do what suits you as for me as for me and myself i will always always remain natural anyway digression aside last but not least please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on make sure to turn on every notification so that you know every time i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video i love you guys so much don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram because i'm really active on twitter and i actually want to start shouting people out from twitter especially and you guys can follow me on instagram so you can see my awesome selfies and awesome photography i'm just gonna link all of that in the description box below <laughs> but anyway i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video